our general formula for cosine. Or y equals a cos b x minus c plus d. But I bet you're wondering, what do all these variables mean? Well, essentially, we have four different possible variables in this equation. However, in every equation, you're not necessarily going to use all four variables a, b, c, and d. But in this case, we have the variable d, or our vertical shift, which, like I said before, won't be used in every problem. But since we do have one in this problem, and it happens to be negative 3, if there wasn't a vertical shift, we would start at the regular amplitude of 3. But since there is, we move down 3 spaces, giving us a negative um, vertical shift of 3, which aligns with the problem. So actually, we start here at the origin of this case. Pi over 2. Up 3. Over 1 minus 1 is 3 to pi. 